Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of Aerosoft's Berlin Brandenburg Airport add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You join me on approach to runway 25 left. As always, I'm starting with an approach to give you a look at the surrounding area and the chance to gauge the performance of the add-on on my system. You can find my system specs and current graphics settings in the video description down below. For now, I'll leave you in peace to watch the landing and I'll speak to you again once we're parked up at a gate. From there, we'll have a good look around the airport in different weather and lighting conditions, and I'll finish up by giving you my overall opinion on it. Welcome to Berlin Brandenburg. We're parked up here on stand Bravo 2 and we'll start by having a look at the jetway connecting to the aircraft. Perfect job! No sign of the jetway hood going through the aircraft skin and it lines up with the door very nicely. Let's move on to having a look at some of the modelling and texturing around the airport, beginning with this jetway itself. As you can see, the jetways here are custom modelled and they've done a pretty good job of this. The uh, textures on the outside look very crisp, uh, this sixth renter car advert looks just right, and there's a bit of weathering, a little bit of greyness and dirt, so they look pretty realistic. Perhaps slightly too repetitive with the dirt, but that's really quite nitpicky. Let's move on to having a look at this section of the terminal building. As you can see, it is a sea of glass, and we do have tinted transparent windows, which look pretty good. You can, of course, go inside, and uh, when you do, you'll notice that the level of detail in the interior is not particularly high. We have quite low resolution floors, and uh, not a huge amount else going on inside here. Looking back out of the windows, you'll notice that they lose their tint from the inside. Um, but this is something that a lot of airports suffer with. The quality of the modelling and texturing on the non-glass parts of the terminal building is pretty high. There is a little bit of blurriness if you get very close, but overall the texture work is good. The concrete pillars at the bottom of the terminal building look pretty convincing. They are a little bit blurry when you get up close, they're not the most detailed concrete I've ever seen, but from the aircraft cockpit they look pretty good. I'm not such a fan of these opaque window textures at ground level. They have tried to create the impression of reflective glass with a sort of rainbow effect, uh, but to me it just doesn't look very realistic. We've got a good amount of detail on the terminal roof, and the textures, while they are not the sharpest I've ever seen, are pretty detailed. 
I really like the 3D airport sign over here which is nicely lit and nicely modelled. This is Terminal 5 and in my opinion it looks better than the central terminals 1 and 2. There's just a higher level of detail, we've got some people up here on the roof and while we don't have transparent glass on the main part of the terminal building, the opaque window textures look pretty convincing. The quality of the texturing is similar, it's not the sharpest I've ever seen but it's plenty good enough. On the edge of the military apron we have this building here which I presume is where they welcome VIPs judging by the red carpet and the welcoming committee outside. I really like this, it's a lovely touch and there's a great amount of detail in the building itself as well. Really nice crisp signage, no transparent glass but again some pretty reasonable looking opaque window textures. Just next door we have the airport fire station. This has been very nicely modelled and quite nicely textured. The brickwork does get a little blurry if you get up close and uh, we've got two 3D fire engines out the front which look quite nice but then we also have these flat images of fire engines uh, over here which to me look a little bit amateurish. But nonetheless you're not going to get very close to this building during normal operations and from the taxiways and the aprons it looks pretty good. This is Apron 4, which features, amongst other things, the General Aviation Terminal. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed by the buildings over here. The models are very, very basic, and the textures are incredibly low resolution. Just have a look at the brickwork here. It's, uh, it's not good. And the same is true of this Condor building over here. The textures are incredibly low resolution. This is the cargo apron, and I have to say it's a little bit devoid of life. There are a few vehicles and air stairs and things scattered around, but it does look pretty bleak and empty. We also have a couple of buildings modelled just adjacent to it which are pretty poor. The texture resolution over the, on this Gate Gourmet building, for example, is very low indeed, and the sign looks pretty blurry. The control tower looks pretty reasonable. Again, the textures aren't the best, but it's been well modelled and we have some nice weathering, particularly on the concrete down here. I'm going to come straight out and say this, I don't like the ground textures at this airport at all. They are incredibly smooth and repetitive, so you'll notice these lines going off into the distance, and that's very very obvious when you are taxiing along. In general the ground looks a little bit too clean and it doesn't really match the real airport very closely at all, if Google satellite imagery is to be believed. The ground textures do have some redeeming features however, I do like the amount of rubber marking and the other little marks around the terminal and particularly around the stands. Some but not all of the colour changes on the surface have been reproduced. For example this taxiway here at the real airport, yes it does get darker here but then it gets darker again and the colour doesn't match the runway surface. Some blurry satellite imagery has been left in place around the edges of the taxiways and this in my opinion is a bit of an immersion killer. It would be better to see the concrete extended all the way to the grass. Talking of which, the grassy areas in general look pretty good. There is a little bit of blurry ground where the grass doesn't grow but that's not the end of the world in my opinion. The 3D taxiway signs have been accurately placed and are clear and easy to read. The runway surfaces suffer from the same problem as the apron and taxiway surfaces in that they're a little bit flat and plain and a little repetitive. The colours don't match the real airport all that closely, they're a little bit too light uh, having compared this with the satellite imagery, but the markings are accurate and I like the amount of rubber around the touchdown zones.
There are no static aircraft included with this scenery. There is some ground clutter, uh, there are a number of vehicles scattered around the place, yet somehow in spite of this the airport does feel a little bit sterile and lifeless. The landside entrances have been modelled to a reasonable level of detail, but they're not going to blow you away. It's nice to see elevated roadway, it's nice to see these Mercedes boards outside, and the Flughafen Berlin Brandenburg signage is pretty good. What I don't like are the textures. So these window textures look very, very odd to me. They don't look at all realistic. And it's disappointing to see such low resolution roadway textures as well. Things are slightly better over at Terminal 5. It's nice to see these rules and this departure board down here with textures that are high enough resolution that you can read them. Also, the quality of the modelling and texturing on the front of the terminal is significantly better, I would say. These opaque window textures do look a lot more convincing. Here's Berlin Brandenburg by night. The apron lighting, in my opinion, is pretty good. These floodlights up here create a realistic looking glow on the ground, but the terminal doesn't look great. That's partly, I think, because there just isn't much in the way of interior modelling, and it's partly because of the flat textures used behind the transparent glass, which are very repetitive and certainly don't give the impression of a bustling international airport by night. It's unfortunate to see quite so many of Asobo's magic floating orbs over the apron. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that third party developers can do about these, so it's not really Aerosoft's fault, uh, but it does spoil the illusion, certainly. Once again, in my opinion, Terminal 5 has been done rather better, even though it makes use of opaque window textures rather than transparent glass. Here's Brandenburg in the rain, and the ground textures support the default reflections and puddles very nicely. But we do have the usual popping of the transparent glass windows, which aren't shrouded in mist as they should be. As I've said before, I think this is an Asobo problem rather than one that developers can overcome on their own. And here's Brandenburg Airport in the snow. There are some things I like about this and some things I like less. I like the way that the ground markings are partially covered but you can still just about make them out. That to me feels pretty realistic. Um, I like the way there aren't any sudden jagged edges or uh, bits of taxiway sticking out which should be covered in snow. But I'm a lot less keen on the fact that the runways are totally covered. No effort has been made to clear these at all. So that to me spoils the realism. So what do I think of Aerosoft's Berlin Brandenburg? Well, I've got to be honest, I'm not very impressed. There are a number of things wrong with it which just make it feel unrealistic. The ground textures are inaccurate and repetitive. The main Terminal 1 and 2 building is pretty lacklustre. The transparent glass looks very plain and plasticky, and the terminal beyond it is barely modelled at all. This means that when you pull up at a gate, it just doesn't look like a real airport terminal. There are some examples of really poor texturing as well. The GA terminal building was particularly notable for its low resolution and blurriness, but it was far from unique. That's not to say there aren't good points. I loved seeing the red carpet and welcoming party over on the military apron. I also really liked the details over at Terminal 5, in particular the people on the roof terrace, and in general, the modelling and texturing are pretty solid. But all in all, for me, the litmus test is whether or not an add-on can make me feel like I'm at a real airport, and this one can't. It just lacks life and soul. I had pretty high expectations because this airport has been being previewed for about six months now, and because Aerosoft have released some truly incredible airports in the past. It's a shame that this one has fallen short. So there you have it. I hope you found this review useful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon here on Filbert Flies. Bye bye.